Hello, welcome back. This is Benjamin. Tonight I want to talk about M33, the Triangulum Galaxy. I'm first going to show you a couple images that I've edited over the year, well, the year. First one was August 2023, then December 2023, and then today, August 2024. To kind of show you how, A, how far you can come if you keep practicing and keep at the, the hobby. And number two, to, to encourage you to never throw away data, no matter how bad you think it is, unless it's like very, very out of focus or something along those lines. Um, as long as it's, it's decent data, never throw it away because you don't know what you're going to be able to do in the future because you can come a long way by practicing. Pix Insight is complicated and the more you practice, the better you'll get. So let's go to the computer. This first image here is from August 2023. You can see here, it's a decent image. I was happy with it for a long time. <clears throat> And, but you can see that there's a lot of noise in the background, a lot of marbled orange peel type of red in the background. Um, kind of fuzzed out the, the, the nebula here, it's, it's, or the galaxy, the nebulas of the galaxy. And there's just a lot of data missing that I think I captured in, in, in further edits. So this was taken with a Nikon D850 through a 200 to 500 millimeter a zoom lens on a, on a tracking mount. So you'll see the other two pictures were taken with the same data set just with 22 minutes of H-alpha data added because this was an unmodified DSLR so it, it blocked out all the H-alpha. So here's the first image, August 2023. Next image, December 2023. I had just purchased my Aperture 75Q with a LU stream and I got some H alpha data that I incorporated into the image. Other than that, it's the same data, base data from the DSLR, literally the same data set. So you can see now I've got the, the red added in from the nebula, the, uh, the nebulas of the galaxy. <clears throat> but you can see there's a lot of noise in the background, a lot of noise, a lot of the orange peel, a lot of artifacts. It's better, it's nice, and I was very happy with it for quite a while. And then I, I figured out some new techniques, new, new ways of doing things, and I'll show you today's edit. And then we'll go ahead and edit it again, just so I can show you what I did and what I've done differently. But you can see that the, the galaxy looks pretty nice. The red uh, hydrogen alpha data looks nice, but that background is just terrible. So, and then today's image. <clears throat> you see the background is much more even. It's still a little noisy. I probably should have run noise, re noise reduction on it again. But we'll, we'll take care of that when we edit it again. This is just a quick edit. But you can see that there's more detail in the, in the arms. It's a little darker in the arms so that the arms stand out a little bit better of, of M33. The, the hydrogen alpha is there again. And whatnot. So, again, December. I'm sorry, August 2023, December 2023, August 2024. So I think it's come a long way, and I've come a long way in my, in my learning. Um, so don't get discouraged if it takes you a while. This is a year of, of, of trying, a year of learning, and this is how far I've come. So I just want to show you that. And now we'll go to the editing stage, and I'll show you how I edited this. All right. Here we have the two files open, the DSLR image and the, um, the 294 MC Pro image taken through a 70, Aperture 75Q. So first thing you'll notice is they were, well, you won't, you'll see it in a second. They were, they were stacked together, so they registered to each other. So the DSLR image is bigger than the field of view than the uh, 294 through a telescope. So let me show you what happened. I end up with a large black border, and we're going to crop that out. So first thing we're going to go is dynamic crop and we're going to go with something along these lines make sure we get enough room for the galaxy and we're going to take our blue arrow and drag it over to the other image which is full all the way to the sides but we, we can't stack that data so now they're both cropped to the same dimensions Let's run a toolbox autolinear fit on both with the green channel. 
That's the H. That's the high. Uh, this is the M33 through the L Extreme filter. You see the hydrogen alpha popped out. Got a little bit of signal otherwise, a little bit of oxygen three, but it mainly is it's the H alpha we're after. And now we'll stretch this image and we'll run linear fit on it. And we will restretch it. And we see there's a gradient. Of course there is, because this was taken in light polluted Baltimore. Well, outside of light polluted Baltimore. So first thing I want to next thing I want to do is run blur exterminator on both with my pretty standard settings. Okay. Next thing we want to do is uh, take the ingredients out. So we'll use the script, steady astro, automatic DBE, my go to tool. And then on the let's say we don't need this anymore. And then on the the RGB image, where it's going to work, it's really work its magic. There's a nice flat image for us. So, the next thing we need to do is isolate the hydrogen alpha. So what we're going to do is, is extract all the channels, the red, green, blue channel from the uh, from the from the L extreme image. We'll close the blue, close the green, because we only aren't interested in the red. We're going to run script, SETI Astro, Continuum Subtraction Utility. Our HA image is red. Our RGB image is this one, I believe. I need no. Yes, no. It's this one, no filter. Sorry. And we will execute that. Now, what it's done without us having to do it is it's isolated the hydrogen alpha. So let's let's close the R channel, and you can see here it just it got rid of everything that's not hydrogen alpha. There are ways to do this without the script, but the script makes it a lot easier. So I definitely recommend that that script. Preview, delete, and you can see it's just it's just taking the HR. I'm mean the H alpha. Actually, it's at the wrong scale. Oops, I messed it up again. Anyway, it's taking the H alpha, and that's what these dots are. These are the H alpha regions. So now we're going to run noise reduction on it. Because this is how SETI Astro, the gentleman from SETI Astro, said to do it. So now you can't run Raxpert on a black and white image, is what I'm understanding. I've tried it several times, and it always just kind of doesn't doesn't work. It gives me an error message. So we're going to run noise exterminator on this image, on the H alpha image. Okay. And we're going to run Graxpert denoise on the RGB image. Okay. Let's get our processing icons up. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to stretch the um, the hydrogen alpha. Actually, we're going to rename it, and you'll see why. Underscore H A. It's what you need to do for the formulas that I'm attaching in the in the, uh, the in the description, so that you can follow along with your own data. Now we are going to. As you can see, I'm sorry. The, the that script that we ran, continuum um, continuum subtraction, actually stretches the image a little bit. So let's stretch it some more. Toolbar. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Process all processes. Instagram transformation and let's really pop those hydrogen alpha a little bit darken down the I want to be careful not to not to lose any of the hydrogen alpha because we're going to create a mask to get rid of the stars and, and other artifacts outside of the galaxy so let's accept that 
So this is what our, our H alpha looks like, our H alpha signal. It's it's there, there, all these dots. So let's minimize this. We don't need it at the moment. Get it out of the way. Let's stretch this image, the RGB image. Turn off the auto stretch. Turn on the preview. Zoom in right there. Zoom out. Send to symmetry point and start stretching. Now with this image, we can actually bring out a lot more of the disk of the galaxy, but I want to concentrate on the spiral arm. So I want contrast between the spiral arms. So I'm going to I'm going to edit accordingly. So I want arms like right there. Local intensity is going down. We got to make sure we don't blow out that core. Okay, that went from there to there. That's pretty good. Let's stretch here. And we just want to be careful. Uh, you can, you can. The the arms are so faint that you can actually make a. Um, you can. You can see how you're you're just um, doing the center of the galaxy. You want to be careful that you get the whole galaxy, or else you just end up with a brightened core with arms that look detached. And we don't want that. We want to keep the whole thing uniform to a degree. Accept that, and let's try and separate the, this arm from the gal from the background a little bit more. Protect our highlights always. Got to keep that core from blowing out. Okay, let's accept that. Let's go under linear and darken our background some. Make sure we're on the right track here. And let's accept this and, and you and stretch it a different way. This is what we have so far. <clears throat> now go to process, all processes, histogram transformation. And we're going to brighten. Use our rightmost slider to increase the brights a little bit. Be careful not to blow out the core, as I said re repeatedly. And darken the darks. Go right about there. And now we will open up curves transformation to increase this, this saturation. I'm sorry, the uh, contrast a little bit. Go right about there. That looks good for the moment. So let's add in our. Let's add in our hydrogen alpha at this point. So what we need to do is go into uh, pixel math. Here we are. Uncheck use single RGB slash K expression because we want to special. We want to um, again. We we want to uh, individually change the channels. So again, this this what I'm typing is going to be in the in the description. plus H A underscore H A minus mead. Now I did not write this formula. It's been floating around the internet for several years. I don't know who to attribute it to, so forgive me, but it works. I like it. 
and I'm going to use it. And like I said, I did not write it, so forgive me. Plus HA times 0 0.2 underscore HA minus need underscore HA. Now the symbols. Our symbol is HA, hydrogen alpha, and we're going to you're going to you're going to change this it could be anywhere i'm going to start it at 0 .005, 0 0.005 and go all the way up to whole numbers one two three four it just depends on how you do it and how you want it to look so now that i've gotten this done and our always make sure that this this file is, is underscore ha or it's going to the formula is going to give you errors so we need to create a mask now before we run it because if we run it I messed something up. Hold on one second. All right, let's change our keyword. Maybe it's 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 confusing the the keyword and the. So let's use B as for boost. Now we change our symbols to B, and let's try it again. Okay. All right. All right. I need to. I, I missed a a, a a a multiplier there after the point two. And after the after that B two. Well, interesting. All right. Got to get your formulas right, or that fails. Surprisingly. And there it is. Now you can see with the 0 0.05 boost, there is no change whatsoever. So let's undo that. Let's really crank it up to 0 0.05, 10 times as much hydrogen alpha. And still nothing. So let's take it up to 1. All right. One, so you can see that's a little strong, but you can also see in the background there's there's it it took all the noise that it's mistaking for hydrogen alpha data. So we need to create a mask on the galaxy so we get these these uh, the hydrogen alpha in the galaxy without putting it all in the background. So let's undo this. Let's create a mask. So I want to create a luminance layer, extract C I E L component luminance on the main thing. There's our galaxy. And we want to turn this into a, a more protective mask. So we're going to go process, all processes, histogram transformation. We want the galaxy to be as bright as possible and the background to be as dark as possible. So let's start with the right hand. And it's okay if we blow it out. That's just, it's, even, it's, it's actually preferable. And then we need to darken our darks back up without losing much of the galaxy arms because we want them to have the hydrogen alpha. Something like that should be perfect. So let's take our mask and apply it. And now when we run it, let's remove the mask or uh, disable the seeing of the mask. Now when we add it in, it's just in the galaxy core. There is a little bit of noise in the galaxy, but I'm not sure if which is which is uh, noise and which is actually hydrogen alpha, but you can see it's no longer in our background. So that's exactly what we want. However, this is too strong for my taste, so let's undo it. And B equals 0.75. That looks better. It's, it's not blown. It's not really blown out anymore, whereas before it was blown out. So let's actually. Take it back down to another notch to 0 0.5. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's remove our mask. Now let's run a background neutralization on it because our, our, our background is a little bit loud, noisy. So you can see it, it's pretty clean, but it's, it's a little bit. So let's run a cyan mask to try to mask out the galaxy. 
we want that to be blue, not green. So let's stretch this mask a little bit. All processes, Instagram transformation, and let's bring up those 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 tones. Don't need it, we don't need to blow it out or anything. Let's we want those arms to turn as well. And we want as much galaxy as possible and as little background as possible. So let's go with that. Close the real time preview and add our cyan mask to our galaxy image. And let's open up Curves Transformation. Do a little contrast. Do a little blue. Something along those lines. Raise it on the on the, on the brights as well. Along those lines, the green we want to give it a little bit more green. That that's that's a good start. Red. Okay. Except that, reset the whole saturation. There we are. Let's close that tool out. And the next thing we want to do is adjust the reds. So let's remove the mask. So we want to up those reds a little bit. So let's go with a magenta mask. I think it's in the magenta channel. It's not very red, it's kind of magenta y, hence the magenta channel. Um. Yeah. And again, we're not going to blur this mask. We want this to be real exact on the reds. All processes, curves, transformation, red. Let's zoom in a little bit on. Oh, uh, real time preview. Zoom in a little bit. These are our core of our galaxy. We want to bring up the reds a little bit, bring up the saturation a little bit. Let's add a little bit of warmth to the center of the galaxy and a little more contrast to the center of the galaxy. Try to bring out those dust lanes a little bit more. So we're going to use the Fame script. Now we're going to draw this mask as little as possible with as much blur as possible because we want this to be very, very targeted and very, very subtle. And let's blur it quite a lot, 125. 126, 125, and let's execute. Let's bring the mask out a little bit more with our histogram transformation. Just so it's targeted a little bit more in the middle. And we don't want it to be too big. We want it to be pretty small and subtle. Let's accept that. Close that. Close that. And apply that to our working image. Process all processes. Curves transformation. And I'm going to use the B factor. I'm going to turn on the real time preview so I can see what I'm doing. And just give it a little bit of warmth. Real little. 
and a little bit of a little bit of red and that looks great so you can see what we've done we did that from we went from there to there very subtle good change let's call this core in case we need it this mask is no good this mask is no good this mask is so good let's just okay now I want to run a histogram, local histogram equalization. Radius 150, contrast limit 1.5, contrast limit 1.5. All right, we still have the mask on. That's why it's not doing anything. <laughs> mask, remove mask. Now, yeah, there we go. Now it works. A little bit too much. So let's pull down the amount slider. Really give some contrast to these arms. Maybe a little bit more than that. That looks pretty nice. Accept that. Now let's take a look at our background. It's still a little noisy again. So let's run a noise exterminator round on it. Let's make sure it doesn't eat up any of our detail, any of our contrast. So let's move it down to like 0.75. And let it run, see what we end up with. That's good. All right, I see a little bit of red in here. So let's take let's take this mask our cyan mask and invert it and apply it curve transformation saturation and lower some of the saturation make sure we're not hitting the galaxy too hard hit as low as possible right about there and step to that. Mask, remove mask. Processes, all processes, HDL multi scale transform. Move the scaling function to linear interpolation. Interpo interpolation, I think that's how you say it now. And let's just get a good feel for what we're doing here. This is just going to let it run. And it is a little too harsh. So let's do it to lightness. And let's undo that. Let's do it to intensity. I don't like that either. Let's preserve the hue. All right, that I can work with. Processes, all processes. Scram transformation. 
set that. Let's bring our galaxy up a little bit more again. Dark in the darks. So we went from this to that. And you just see the, the core is a little bit more controlled. So you can see what we've done, and this looks pretty nice. Um, I wonder what happened if I ran a SCNR green on it. I think a little bit of green in, in the outskirts that I don't like of the galaxy. Let's just hit it with SCNR green. That's much better. So we went from that to that, which is much more like what I want. And that was pretty darn nice. Background is nice and clean. For the most part, there's a little bit of red down there. That could be hydrogen alpha for all. No, it almost looks like it has structure, and it's only in that one corner. No, it's in both corners. It's not structure. Let's run one more background extermination, or not background extermination, background DBE to it. So if we can't get rid of some of that red sides, red corners, yeah, that's going to do it. And if we look at our look at our background, you can see it took out well, it took out a little green from the bottom corner, but it took out red from these corners, and you just it. It said it took out green, but I don't see the red anymore, so that looks good. So let's leave it here. Gives you an idea of how to add RGB to hydrogen alpha data, how to re-edit, and again, how to keep at it and keep working on learning more PixInsight because you will get better and your photos will get better. And if you keep the photos around, keep all the data around so you can restack, re-edit, you'll find yourself coming up with some gems that you didn't know you had. So. This is Benjamin, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.